I got, I got, I got, I got. Hey, welcome back to my channel. The topic for this video is DNA, so stay tuned. So earlier this year, Kendrick Lamar released a song called DNA, and it's a great song. I love the song. I love the album. You should go listen to it. But do you guys really know what DNA is and what it does? It's okay, because I'll tell you. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and deoxyribo refers to the type of sugar that's in DNA. And DNA is composed of a string of subunits called nucleotides, and nucleotides are made up of a phosphate, sugar, and a nitrogenous base. There are four different types of bases within DNA. There's adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. There's also RNA in the body, and RNA is basically the same thing. It just has a different sugar and one different nitrogenous base. These nucleotides bond together to make a single strand. And if you take another single strand the opposite way and connect them together, you get what we call DNA, which is a double-stranded polynucleotide molecule. Try saying that five times. Double-stranded polynucleotide. Double-stranded polynucleotide. Even I can't say these words. Because of the charge of DNA, which is negative because of the phosphate groups, and because of the chemical bonds within the DNA structure, the DNA structure tends to wind around itself, creating a double helix structure similar to a winding staircase. And this double helix structure winds and winds around itself and other proteins so tightly that eventually it will form chromosomes, which can then be packed into the nucleus of a cell. Think of DNA as a zipper. The two sides represent the two strands. The gene part is the sugar phosphate backbone, and the teeth are the nitrogenous bases. If you unzip the DNA, you will reveal a sequence of letters. This is the genetic code that everybody talks about. So you guys are probably wondering, like, what exactly is DNA used for? So one strand of DNA, or one strand of a sequence of letters, is used as a template to make RNA and RNA is used as a template to make protein. That's right, your DNA is used to make protein. And protein isn't just meat or muscle tissue. It's the enzymes used in your body, hormones, antibodies, or keratin, which is a protein used to make the outside layer of your skin. But a large portion of your DNA doesn't code for anything. It's used for structural support or regulation. And apparently, Kendrick Lamar's DNA codes for loyalty, war, peace, power, poison, pain, and joy, hustle, and ambition. That's impressive. My DNA doesn't code for that. But what Kendrick Lamar is implying is that he's a unique individual, which is correct. Everybody has a unique sequence of letters in their DNA. And that's DNA structure and function. I hope this video really cleared up some confusion you guys had or just opened your eyes. Maybe you guys never thought about what DNA actually does. I think you guys knew that everybody has different DNA. You can have a mutation. It will code for a protein that doesn't work correctly. And then this protein causes you to have a disease. That's what your DNA does. And that's the end of my video. I've reached 200 subscribers and I thank you guys for that. That's awesome, you guys don't understand. 200 people listen to me talk about science. Isn't that crazy? And people thought, you know, science is an end. It really isn't. You just gotta give it to people in a different way. So yeah, that's my video. Hope you guys liked it. Please give me suggestions. I want you guys to talk to me so I can make better videos for you guys, okay? And y'all have a nice day, like always. Bye. Be humble. I look like freaking Limp Biscuit. <laughs>